Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Well, Obama's defense of the NSA's constant surveillance of all Americans just reached a new level of absurdity when he compared them to Paul Revere. After blatantly lying, even they realize they don't have any credibility. We're putting out mindless propaganda is what some of us feel that we're putting out and that what the American people feel that we're putting out. What's a tyrant to do? Well, you could pull in some corporate billionaires who work hand in glove with the NSA. I'm sure that would help. So it's not as though uh, government surveillance is absolutely bad in all cases. Is, is, it, is it done in a way that uh, people trust that the uh, normal privacy concerns are, are being adhered to? It's interesting that Gates would be talking about trust. Microsoft was the first company to partner with the NSA on violating your trust and spying on you without reason and without a warrant. Internet companies want you to trust them with your data. And the government wants you to give your data to a third party like Microsoft so they can get that data without a search warrant. They merely ask companies like Microsoft and Microsoft eagerly turns over all of your information. But it's not just Gates with soothing words for the public. Mark Andreessen, Netscape founder, now venture capitalist, took to Twitter this week to defend the NSA. And government cheerleaders and the press were relieved that Finally, someone had the guts to defend the NSA. Andreessen tweeted, I increasingly feel like we're on some gigantic collective fainting couch. Oh my word, I can't believe that spy agencies spy. In the US, we all collectively hired tens of thousands of our fellow citizens and gave them $75 billion a year with a mission to spy on our behalf. Do you notice the subtle lie here? It's not that the NSA is spying on our behalf, it's that they're spying on us, illegally. He completely loses the context of FISA. The F stands for foreign, and it was created because we learned in the 70s, during the Church Commission, that spy agencies weren't just spying, they were engaged in all kinds of criminal activity as well. The purpose of FISA was to restrict the CIA and the NSA from spying domestically. But Andreessen tries to confuse the issue further by saying, to suddenly turn on them and blanket accuse them of comprehensive illegality and moral horrors is unfair to them, and it lets us off the hook. Is it unfair to accuse the NSA of comprehensive illegality when they lie to Congress, when they violate FISA and the Constitution and spy on all Americans without a search warrant? Andreessen has been trying to cover for the NSA from the very beginning of the Snowden leaks trying to muddy the waters by claiming that the NSA critics are too stupid to understand the technology involved. American citizens, as well as not American citizens, direct access, no oversight, no court order, these very sweeping claims. And the thing that's been so frustrating from my perspective is the sort of issue of technology in our society and the internet in our society is a central issue. And to talk about it, you actually have to, people have to understand the technology. People have to actually be willing to understand the technology. And the original reporting simply did not understand the technology. Andreessen saying critics simply don't understand technology couldn't be a bigger lie. Multiple NSA whistleblowers told us about illegal surveillance 12 years ago. William Binney, who had worked for the NSA for over 30 years, who was the global technical director for the NSA, knew exactly what the NSA was doing. Then when I found out they were starting to do the uh, spying on everybody in the United States, I felt I had to get out of there because I couldn't be a party to that. I would be an accessory to subverting the Constitution, uh, which incidentally, in my view, that's what everybody's doing, including that uh, the judge who just ruled that it isn't that it's lawful. Benny resigned because he understood the technology and did not want to become a criminal. Andreessen wants to muddy the waters with technology issues and say the public doesn't understand the mission, that NSA employees don't understand the legal constraints. And he tweeted that we have a simplified cartoon version of an evil NSA. Well, former NSA technical director William Benny tells us it's not simplistic or cartoon, but the same techniques that he witnessed in totalitarian societies for decades. That's what I see. That's what I've been seeing from the beginning, only because I had all that experience uh, 
All right, folks, that full report's up at prisonplanet.tv and infowarsnews.com. More banks are now shutting down their ATMs. This is just now breaking. Stay with us. We're going to look at the why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma a runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine of your sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly four 400 life-changing products and get free shipping when you sign up for auto ship. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military industrial complex. In Dallas, Texas, three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade in downtown Dallas. The first reports say that President Kennedy has been seriously wounded by this shooting. It is a big idea. A new world order. It was almost as if it were a planned implosion. It just pancakes. Either you are with us, or you are with the terrorists. believe a lot of gun owners would agree that AK-47s belong in the hands of soldiers, not in the hands of criminals. Guns will be taken and no one will be able to be armed. We're going to take all the guns. For many of the police and guard troops, it is an uncomfortable job to do this in an American city. It's global governance at last. Is it one world? The central bank is in charge. But aren't we all just living and dying for what the central banks do? And for me, give me liberty or give me death! Live from the Infowars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. So I began the broadcast at the start of the last hour warning you that HSBC and a whole bunch of other banks are now telling people they can't take out more than two, three, four thousand dollars at a time and are saying that they're going to file suspicious transaction reports on people that do. And they've already had a whole bunch of different cases as you know, last year with bail-ins, where as much as 45% of every person's bank account, except insiders in uh, places like Cyprus, have their money taken out and given to hedge fund, hedge fund owner mafia bosses that literally engineered the collapse of the country. And in the case of Cyprus, they didn't even say the money was owed or there was any type of paper connection. This is beyond uh, selling derivatives into the market, uh, the same mortgage 100 times or more. This is beyond credit default swaps. This is just open thieving with paramilitary government in control, with, with banks in control of the government, saying either give us unlimited bailout money or we will implode your country. Give us 40 plus trillion dollars in the U.S. alone that's been given to mainly offshore and foreign banks since 2008, or we're too big to fail and we'll bring you down. And then we're told this is our debt. And we've got to pay it for generations. The average person born the year Obama got into office, 2009, owes $1,300,000. The Congressional Budget Office came out last week. Just in six years, those six-year-olds owe a million plus dollars. And folks, when they're done, it's going to be a billion dollars apiece. Because we're going to be like the Weimar Republic in Germany that brought Hitler to power, where you needed wheelbarrows to buy a loaf of bread, where you'd come in to buy dinner. And you'd want to pay up front because your meal might be twice as much in two hours. That happened. That's happening in Zimbabwe right now. This is what happens when criminals run things. They don't just not mismanage things. They want you poor. But first, they've got to have a paramilitary force in place. 
First, they've got to have police that believe demonstrating is illegal. First, they've got to have a system where you can be disappeared under the National Defense Authorization Act and torture school. And they've got to have a system where they can stage terror attacks and blame it on domestic groups. Remember, I told you years ago, we broke this, that they were shifting from saying gun owners were the main threat, uh, moving it over to just people who are Tea Party folks, period, that you're some type of terrorist. And before that, it was Al-Qaeda, then gun owners, then returning veterans. And then now it's, oh, domestic groups, Homeland Security say they're about to attack. This is in mainstream news that every police department is told, you will be attacked by the Tea Party and veterans. They will use IEDs on you. They will bomb you. So you need these giant armored Iraq trucks to prepare for war, and it's all over the Army Times. It's all over Stars and Stripes. They're normalizing it like it's no big deal. And here it is. First, HSBC halts large withdrawals. Now Lloyd's ATM stopped working. That's Zero Hedge reporting on Sky News. That's Fox News in England breaking right now. UK-wide. This is up on Infowars.com as well. You go to DrudgeReport.com. They have it right on the right-hand side, the HSBC article. Now, I told you years ago they were getting ready for this before it started. And why is that? These criminals like to have the law changed or regulation changed, then they have a bunch of boards internationally sign off on it so that when it all ends up happening, they can blame it on thousands of bureaucrats and no one can be held accountable. Do you understand? I mean, I watch these people. This is what I do. I know how they operate. And what I love, the fact is, is that Chris Jordan comes in now. He knows when something's big in the news to print me old articles, so I already have it. He put together a folder just of five or six articles last year or two years saying get ready to, for them to charge you to have money in the bank and charge you to use your debit card or credit card. I don't care if you have $100 million in the bank. Your money's worthless because the globalists can get all the fiat digits they want, zeros and ones. The economy isn't about creating value and bringing value to the table. It's not about being honorable and building a better society. And businesses and companies and lawyers and people that are honorable get more popular and those that aren't get run out of business. Honorable police uh, get, get, get supported and so they can do the right thing. Well, you don't take control of the situation. You get bad police in. They run out the good cops. You get tyranny. And this has now happened. I'm going to open the phones up here in a moment. But here it is. Sky News, Lloyd's Banking Group says problems affecting cash machines and debit cards have been resolved. Isn't that nice? It's a pseudo attempt at capital controls. And what they do is they test it. They send letters to their customers. Then people backlash and they stop. But they're, they're conditioning you. This is a military tactic. Before they invaded Panama, I'm no fan of Manuel Noriega, but uh, in the late 80s, but he was a CIA operative trafficking narcotics and he stopped paying his cut. That's been declassified. So they had that big invasion claiming that they were saving saving um, three women that were at a college that were American citizens. When they got saved, it's in the Panama Deception film, they go, no one ever held us hostage. This isn't even true. But the point is, is that for a month before they invaded, they had U.S. military do drills who were already invited into the country of landing helicopters, taking off, doing shooting drills, dropping grenades, you know, until, until when they actually invaded, the Panamanian military stood down, thinking it was just another drill. Meanwhile, all of this is going on. Now the Grammys are going to have gay weddings edited on TV, just shoving sexual propaganda in everyone's faces. Children's cartoons, you name it. And it's not because they're even liberal and want equality for, quote, gay people. They want to end the family as we know it. They want to absolutely break the back of society. That's why you see in sitcoms and dramas attacks now on standard nuclear families. And because, because they have to replace the, the, the general Bill of Rights and Constitution that we all had with special rights. Oh, we have new bathrooms for five-year-olds that think they're a boy, a girl, or maybe an animal. Oh, we have to legalize bestiality now. It's for the children. Oh, we have to, uh, you know... Teach five-year-olds about daddy, you know, uh, you know, having a husband or whatever. Uh, so that people are so concerned and obsessed with all that, that meanwhile, total tyranny is coming in. And you're going to be charged to use your debit card no matter what you do. And everything you do is going to be tracked and controlled. And they use the NSA actuaries on record to be able to predict the future in mass and individual movements almost 100% of the time now. It's 93% six years ago. Amazon says it's 100% of the time. Do you hear me? They can now predict and have your package packaging and shipping before you order it.
that, how your mouse goes over things, what you bought in the past, your habits. These are war-gamed algorithms.